Now, 5 News reporter Michael Wilson is live on Dixon Street. Talk about energy with fan reaction. Hey, Micah. Hey, Eric, I'm here at Bud Walton Jr. or JJ's here on Dixon Street. There was no need to be at the arena because they brought the game day atmosphere right here. I mean, anytime the Hawks scored or maybe got a rebound, you could hear the room erupting with loud applause or just screaming. Surprised a lot of them have their voice even right now. I mean, we've been sitting here for five minutes. We are at them play celebration as well as we are the champions. Fans singing along excited about this Hawk win. It was a big win for the Razorbacks. I'm feeling great. We're all feeling great. How about you, man? That same energy there before the game. We're going to win. We're going to win. That's a dub. <laughs> Can't stop the Hogs. During. Hey, go Hogs, baby. Go Hogs. And after the game. We defeated the number one team. We're about to go in and face Alabama next Saturday in their Coliseum. Are we going to bring it home to them? Not only fans excited, but businesses. We're expecting a large crowd. Hopefully, when the game lets off, you know, maybe we'll get the overflow of some business here. BAM food truck manager Felipe Cerna says when the Hogs win, they win. That's why they opened up on an off day. We opened because we're expecting a huge crowd from the game, you know. The Hogs' big win has fans excited, but a bit confused. We're not ranked for some reason. Why aren't we ranked? You, I, I don't ask me why. I, I, we should be. We will be after this game. And for Bama, these fans have a message. Coming in hot and heavy. We're coming in hot and heavy. Let's go home! Bama, those fans are ready for you. You can see behind me there are fans walking around. During the game, I can tell you, we saw a lot of cars out here, not a lot of people, not any traffic here. Now, after the game, we see people walking around, bar hopping, finding places to eat, supporting businesses. They are excited. I know last night they were camping before the game. Unfortunately, they were told to go, but they were prepared for this win. They were ready, and they finally got it tonight. We're live here in Fayetteville, covering news where you live. Mike Wilson, 5 News.